Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Stockton police are putting together a team to look at patterns that investigators noticed related to recent homicides. They noticed the killings happened at night or early morning, and the victims were alone. Investigators aren't sure if one person is responsible or multiple people. Police also say they have no information about a possible serial killer. One person is dead after a shooting inside an Arkansas hospital. It happened in a suburb of Little Rock. Police arrested a suspect just over an hour later. Russia is set to formally annex parts of Ukraine after occupied areas held a Kremlin-orchestrated referendum, denounced as illegal and rigged by both Kyiv and the South. Armed troops went door-to-door -door collecting ballots. The man who assassinated Robert F. Kennedy in 1968 wants a judge to release him from prison. The now 78-year-old has been in prison for 54 years. His attorney wants the judge to overturn Governor Gavin Newsom's parole denial from earlier this year. Japanese drug maker Isai announced today its potential Alzheimer's treatment appeared to slow the disease in a late-stage study. The drug, Lecanemab, appeared to reduce patient decline by 27 percent compared to a placebo or fake drug. U.S. health officials say at-risk people who received just one dose of the monkeypox vaccine appear to have gotten significantly less sick from the virus, but officials still urge people to get a second dose for full protection. Folsom City Council has approved an ordinance making outdoor dining permanent in the city. Restaurants will now be able to submit an application for approval to use portions of city-owned properties and street parking areas for outdoor seating. Dramatic video shows the moment a man fell onto the tracks in front of a train as it arrived at a station in Argentina. Amazingly, the man was treated for just minor bruising as well as shock and has left the hospital. The first California inflation relief checks are set to show up in direct deposit accounts on September 7th. Some families can get up to $1,050. We have more information at abc10.com money. Grammy-winning rapper Coolio has died at the age of 59. The man behind Gangsta's Paradise and Fantastic Voyage died today at a friend's home in L.A. We'll have more on Coolio's passing later in the show, including his recent visit to Sacramento. But for now, those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.